Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Get a sign-up bonus of 200% up to $25,000 when joining today. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply. Vote for IFL in this year's Sports Podcast Awards. Go to www.sportspodcastgroup.com and vote for us in Best Combat Sports Podcast and the Diverse Voices Awards categories. IFL Pod, available across all major streaming platforms now. This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Lewis Crocker in Belfast. Lewis, first of all, how was your Christmas? Quick turnaround from the last fight. I made a very quick turnaround. Um, you know, a good Christmas. I got back over to Scotland to Boxing Day. I just found out about the fight um, probably about the 20th of December, something like that. So, yeah, quiet Christmas and straight back in the camp and feeling good. Looking forward to Saturday. What does it feel like, first of all, when you've been in a, a war with Tyrone McKenna? And then so soon after you find out you're fighting again, is that is that a good thing for you or would you prefer a bit more time? What what's your take on that? No, definitely it's great to be back out so soon. Um, you know, keep active. That's that's I think that's a big part of boxing. And uh yeah, to get a fight so soon it's it's great. In terms of your opponent, obviously he's fought Tyrone McKenna, I'm sure you've watched that. And then he's fought Gary Colley and beat Gary Colley. What do you make of Jose Felix? Dangerous opponent, you know, it, it showed in his last fight against Cully. Yeah, he was a big underdog and uh, he got a big upset win. So, you know, uh, I believe he has a lot of confidence going into this fight himself. Um, but unfortunately, he's going to lose. In terms of what you know about Jose Felix and if you have actually watched him, have you watched him, Lewis? Yeah, I've I seen him in the fight against Gary Cully. Um, you know, I watched it live and stuff and a uh, big upset win, obviously, he got. And I was actually on YouTube the other day and on my recommended videos, it was like biggest boxing upsets and it was him knocking a gully and I was like, get that off the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> with, with this fight and obviously being a matchroom show, headlining in Belfast, you've always spoke about wanting to headline shows in your home city. What does it mean to you, first of all, to headline in Belfast and Ulster Hall again? Obviously last time you had a great win against Artem Harderin, but again, under the matchroom banner, is it different? Uh, like the whole the whole scene's different with matchroom. Um, like... Everything like from the media to like the, the fight week, fight day, everything. Um, obviously with the the zone on the platform as well, it's it changes everything. So it's, I'm on the biggest platform and to be headlining, it's you know I'm proud to be um, what I'm doing. So it's 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 unreal. Moving forward, not looking past Jose Felix at all. But what do you want from your career within the next twelve months? Obviously, you've joined forces with Billy Nelson. You you look like you're revitalized as such you're a different person you're loving life what do you want the next 12 months to look like for Lewis Crocker definitely I uh, want to approach towards a world title do you know what I mean I'm um, getting into the organizations into the top 10s and top fives and I think in the next 12 months I have a strong possibility to do that do you know what I mean um, big fights out there um, big names out there so you know like I, I'm hoping for it all Give us a name that you want Lewis Crocker in the next 12 months anyone out there that you fancy after the Jose Felix fit I mean, I've, I'm not even thinking about anyone else apart from Jose Felix right now, so it, it's hard to say. And it just depends who's holding what belts and who's winning fights, you know what I mean? So, anybody, mate, I'll fight anyone. Last one from me before I let you go. You're a busy man. Tyson Fury fights Alexander Usyk. How do you think that one goes in Saudi Arabia? I think watching Fury's last fight um, against Ngannou, you know, he, he wasn't great. And Usyk's a phenomenal boxer, but... <laughs> it's hard to bet against Fury, like, isn't it? Um, hard says Fury, Brian says uh, Usyk, but I'll go for Fury. Well, Lewis, thanks a million. We'll catch up again this week. Really appreciate it, mate. Thank you, man. Legend. I'm fine. <laughs>